Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. Fair warning, okay? Fair warning. If you are eating right now or if you had something to eat not too long ago and you have a weak stomach, I would advise that you listen to this commentary at a later time. Or if you have a strong stomach and can handle it, well, here goes. So I was just on my Facebook and I saw this story in my timeline and I just about threw up in my mouth. So this trailer ape cave beast, demonic piece of shit here, wanted to get rid of her college roommate right here, this black girl. And I'm going to read the article to you, and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. White freshman who rubbed used tampons on her black roommate's back gets arrested. She boasted about getting rid of her Jamaican Barbie. Brianna Brochu, a white student who bragged about harassing her black roommate by rubbing used tampons on her bag, pouring moldy clam dip in her lotion and putting her toothbrush inside her rectum. Oh, Jesus. Has been arrested. Brochu, a freshman at the University of Hartford, posted on Instagram about how she finally got rid of her roommate, who she referred to as Jamaican Barbie. So that right there, that lets me know that this bitch, this disgusting, lower than an animal, cave beast, was jealous of this girl. She called her a Jamaican Barbie. So that lets you know right there, this cave devil is jealous of this girl and wanted her out. And I bet you she got a lot of compliments and this bitch here didn't like it. Tonight, the university confirmed they have arrested her, calling the reports disturbing. Chanel Jazzy Rowe, the freshman roommate of Brochu revealed the shocking allegations in a Facebook video. I'm assuming the video is supposed to be here, but for some reason it's not showing up. It could be my internet. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll try to look for it later. In it, she describes getting sick while given the cold shoulder, while being given the cold shoulder by the roommate. It started with throat pain. She explained, I thought maybe because it's colder up here, I'm just catching a cold. After a month, it got to the point where I had extreme pain, that I couldn't sleep to the point where I couldn't even speak. I'm spending my own money that my parents give me for food and groceries. The health center on campus is not free. In fact, they're expensive. In the post, Jazzy explained that her tests would come back negative. She was prescribed antibiotics by the campus doctor for the bacteria in her throat. Then, after a rocky relationship between the two persisted, Rose says in her video how Brochu would come into their room and turn off the lights if Rose was working there. She decided to move out. As she was leaving, Rose discovered Instagram posts by her roommate who boasted about messing with her to make her ill. Brochu posted, finally did it. Your girl got rid of her roommate. After a month and a half, of spitting in her coconut oil, putting moldy clam dip in her lotions, rubbing used tampons on her backpack, putting her toothbrush places where the sun doesn't shine, and so much more. I can finally say goodbye, Jamaican Barbie. Brianna Brochure's post has been marked private now. Hartford confirmed a student has been arrested in relation to this incident, adding they will strictly follow our disciplinary process. We are currently in communications with the student and her family, they added. And this is the notice from the university. We have contacted brochure, brochure, brochure and I guess Howell for comment and we'll update when 
we hear back. So, yeah. I, I can't even start to begin how that room would have been tore up, as we used to say, from the floor up. I would have had, would have been beating this bitch's ass all night long, okay? I'd be in jail. This is why you are called trailer apes. This is why you are called cave beasts. This is why you are considered to be lower than animals. You do this kind of stuff and you wonder why we call you that. As if this bitch couldn't just try to work something out with the university to say it's just not working out. This is a certified, nasty, just trailer eight bitch here. I hope everything under the sun happens to this bitch. I hope she flunks out. I hope she never can even return back to college. I hope she has charges pinned on her, but I, let's face it, she'll get a slap on the wrist because of who she is. This bitch should be in jail. What if this girl would have gotten seriously ill and died? This bitch would be a murderer. She should be fucking rotting in prison. And the exact same thing that she did to this girl should happen to her in prison. Period. Just sick. Can't go a day without hearing something about their nasty, disgusting, just fucking cave devil ways. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I cannot wait to hear the comments or read the comments on this. Anyway, let me know what you think about this just repulsive story. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.